Well, today on Geek Smart, we're going back to the smart home, and in this case, a four speed wireless fan controller from Lutron. guys, welcome back to GeekSmart. So today I'm doing a smart switch install. This is the Caseta Wireless from Lutron. This is the 4-speed Quiet RF fan control. And so I thought I'd open it up and get everything out here. They, they did send me this over. They also sent me their uh, nice fancy wall plate that I won't be using uh, because I'm actually changing my wall plate up to a, from a single to a dual gang. Now, my house is a little bit different. So if you watch my channel in the past, um, I've done a lot of installs down in my basement because, well, that's the only one that actually has a neutral wire at the switch. Uh, because my basement was done later after the upstairs was done. Upstairs was built, in the, or the house was built in the 70s. Um, so at my switches, almost all switches, I do not have a neutral wire. This does, like most um, smart switches, requires a neutral wire. And uh, to be honest, that's the right way to do it anyway. So part of this setup, I'm going to show a little bit of it. I'm running a neutral wire. Actually, I'm just going to run all new wires from my switch to my fan. So let's start by opening this up, putting it out here. But if you have uh, a switch that doesn't have a neutral wire, this will definitely pertain to you. Um, but I'm not going to do a whole lot of that. It's mainly going to be on this guy. Okay, let's see here. So we're going to go ahead and open up the box, see what all comes with it. So they do give you some wire nuts. And of course the screws actually fasten it. We do have the actual controller here. As you can see, we have ground, we have uh, neutral, and then we have line, I'm guessing. So that's that guy there. And instructions. So there's some instructions for it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. It also requires, there's the line right there. So we have neutral, we have load, we have line, and then I'm assuming that's what that is. We'll take a peek. Let's look into the instructions and see what they say. So they do come in multiple languages and they show you how you know to remove the old one, make sure you tag your line wire, uh, and then you have your load wire down below, here's your ground and everything. And then if we come over here where the new switch is, we actually have yellows going to line, uh, the load actually goes to that screw terminal, terminal, which is why it is black. That's always going to be your live your, uh, your live wire. Neutral, which is usually white, and then your ground is your green. So that's how we're going to actually set it up real quick. Um, I have uh, We're going to go upstairs. We're going to, I guess, install the uh, neutral wire to my switch area, and then we're going to actually install this bad boy. So let's get started. So I have to show this because we are working with electricity here, people. I am not an electrician. I'm going to start that route real quick, but make sure you turn off the breaker to wherever you're going to be working. I did turn mine off. I'm not going to turn it back on because I do have actually disconnected upstairs already. But that said, I forgot to film this part. Make sure you turn it off because you don't want to die. So here's what I'm doing. I have an outlet. Well, you can see I this uh, hunk right here actually just fell right out. Uh, it was uh, not actually a piece of drywall. It was just... Uh, mud so that was awesome but i'm going to remove this box i'm actually going to put a two gang box in because i decided that while i'm doing the fan control kit i want a separate one for the lights so i can have everything on at all times i don't have to worry about on and off with the light or on and off with the fan so the fan control is just going to be for the fan and i'm going to have a light control just for the light it's hopefully going to work out awesome but in the in either way this right now is not a neutral wire this is just a, a live and load wire and then a ground so what i got to do is i got to get neutral wires to my outlet and uh and then i'll probably still reuse this one as the line of load for the the fan kit i just need to get at least a neutral down and then a live a line of load for the light so yeah this is my fan this is where my fan was obviously i have neutral wire and everything up here in the box this is actually um the wire that's actually coming from the switch right here so we just have um it's cycling through so it's just basically completing the circuit at the switch so what i got to do is i got to get a line from here down to where my switch is and since i'm adding 
um, a second gang anyway. It's actually going to be easier in this regard. When I do my other two rooms, My both my kids' rooms, is going to be a little harder. But essentially, if you want to add one, you can just go up to the light switch and then pull the, the, the wire down. So I'm adding a second wire as it is. So in my case, I just basically took a screwdriver and plowed the, plowed the box over. After loosening all my screws up and everything's loose there, I'm just cutting the nails there, the two nails, and then I'm going to pull that box out hopefully somehow. We'll see. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought, but I hate these boxes, these old boxes. They're heavy as shit, though. So this is now I'm going to expand this to a two gang and get it, at least get the box and get it cut to ready. I'm not putting the box in until I have all the wires pulled though. Makes it easier. So not too bad. There's my new box all ready to go in. Um, now I, I'll pull it back out. And um, The nice thing about mine is my wire is not obviously attached to any of uh, the studs at all. Like modern construction, they, they're always attached to the studs on the way up. This is not. This is free floating in the stud space. So that's poor, to be honest about it. But it's what it is. It's going to make my job a lot easier adding stuff. So yay for me i guess but that said now i'm going to kind of use this as a pull string to pull in my new wires i'm going to even replace this one with a new one as well all right so i found it in the attic there's the wall you can see i just pulled it up it came right up with my two cables attached now i just got to find where it is in this mess where the actual uh claw or uh fan is which i'm assuming is right down here kind of where i was the other day so yeah hopefully i can find it and get it in there so i've got my two new wires stuck through the box and there they are coming out of the hole so i can actually cut these off and then i'm gonna get to where i'm not gonna um videotape all the wiring i do i'm just gonna get everything kind of ready at least for the switch itself and then we'll go from there but I'm going to wire this back up basically how it was other than I'm going to separate out the light um, from the fan because on the actual fan itself, it's older, but it does have a tag, or at least it did have a tag. The blue one's actually for the light, so it separates out the light. So I wanted to discuss at least what I did up here real quick before I put the fan back up. Obviously, all the grounds are hooked back up. Um, I've got all the, the, the neutral from the the 14.3 that I put in, I have hooked up to, to the neutral, the line, to the line, ground to ground, and the red is going to be my load. On the three, the 14.2 the wire that I have, which is just for the light because I'm going to share the neutral, I actually use the white wire, as you can see right here, for the line, and then the black for the load. It doesn't really matter as long as you know what you did, because that's how they did it on before, so I'm just going to stick with how they did the rest of the house, essentially. So, now I have three wires down, uh, the neutral, and then the load for the light, and for the fan. Yay! Alright, so how this is going to go down, like I said, I am separating this out. This is going to actually function the light control. This is the fan control. This is the one I ran. This is now a, a 14.3 wire. I only had a 14.2 wire before. Line load, no neutral. So, now I have live, or line, load neutral ground i have all four makings to get this thing ready to roll on my second one which is just going to be my lights uh this is going to be actually that's my line this is my load this is my ground and i'm going to pair off of this neutral for that um so with that said I'm going to go ahead and start and get this paired up. I'm actually going to put a, an, an older smart switch here for my lighting. I'm not filming that portion of it. It's mainly just going to be the fan control. So uh, let me get lined up here, and then we'll get started by wiring it up. So the hardest one that's going to be is not, you know, the wire tire ones are going to be pretty simple. It's the, uh, the line coming in and actually worn there. So I'm going to go ahead and get that guy in place real quick. I think through a lot of this, I'm actually going to just speed through this. So here we go. Okay, 
so there we are. We have line coming in here, hot. We have the neutral wire to our neutral. We have the yellow to our load. In this case, I used the red wire for load. And then we have green, which is the ground, to ground. So this is all ready to go in. Um, before I do that, I'm actually gonna get this one wired up off camera. And uh, there are the two, in the same bag that had the wire nuts, there are the two screws to actually fasten this to the actual box. So that's where those are. Um, we'll come back after I get it all in place. One thing I'm gonna point out real quick is there is a, you see these little flanges, these little fingers that stick out? You may need to remove those. In my case, because I am putting it next to another switch, I'm gonna remove this side. And in case you needed to see this, I'm just using uh, pliers essentially and just breaking it off real quick. Just grab onto it, go back and forth a couple times. Lines and pliers are great because they have the nice bull nose on them. And so once you do all three of those, then we should be back in business. And we shouldn't be disrupting with the other one. So there's what she looks like. Um, I always like to tighten these by hand with then with the drill, just because, especially with the with the smart ones, they're a lot deeper. So you don't want to be going and going and going and then feeling pressure, and you may have to stop, back back out, and readjust your wires behind it. And then obviously in my case, I just gotta make sure it lines up. In this case, it does. And then just make sure that all four of these are nice and tight. And uh, yeah, then I'll be able to put the screws in on this guy. And there it is. Now, I'm sure somebody might say that, why do you have a Leviton uh, next to a Lutron? Well, let me tell you a couple things real quick. First, I do actually have a Lutron Caseta uh, dimmer, an old original one that doesn't take a neutral wire. And with LED bulbs, that guy always has a slight glow in there. So I, I, I took it out um, and it's actually downstairs in another room now. So it's being used still. But that said... I don't have another Lutron one, so we're going to give this guy a try, although I've already used one of these before. So that's it, guys. Let's go turn the power on. Hopefully she works. Okay, now that our stint with death is over, we should be able to flick that sucker back on. Okay, so don't pay attention to that guy because we're not paying attention to that guy. This is going to be our fan control. And so we have, we had a green light there. Uh, actually, my fan's not even on. Let me go turn it on real quick. Jeez, I forgot about that. So this fan has three speeds. I'm gonna kick it on three and the third speed. All right, so let's go, let's kick it up one. She is turning. Let's kick it up a second notch. Third notch. You can hear the power go up. Let's go full speed. And I may have it in slow. I can't remember if it was fast and then slow or slow and then fast. Let's find out. Yeah, okay, I was in the slowest speed, that'd be why. All right, I'm gonna kick it off real quick and then we're gonna try it again. One beautiful thing about taking the fan down to get my neutral wire over is the fan is now clean. So, all right, we have that guy on its max setting. We're gonna go up one. So this is the low mode. Nice and low, just moving air. This is that, so it'll be 25% because it looks like there's four settings. Now we're going to go up a notch to 50%. We're stepping up to 75. And then we'll go on a max speed. So she works pretty good. Oh yeah. And there's the old rock. She's flying. And I can always step it back down whenever I need to. Now that we have it fully functional, we know it's functional, now it's going to get it uh, attached to my Lutron app. Now, this is going to be a little bit different if this is your first Lutron experience and you already have the hub and everything. This is what, I, what I'm going through. I already have the hub set up because I have other Lutron accessories. But if you don't, you will need the Lutron hub to do the smart Wi-Fi setup. So um, once that's set up, and I do, I will post uh, below for any of the other videos that I have where I did the Lutron stuff. Um, so check those out. But I'm going to go ahead and open up the Lutron app because that's where we're actually going to get this attached to my system at least. So connecting to my Lutron system. I'll give it a moment. So we can already see here's my schedules and some of the devices that I have already attached to it. Um, 
In this case, we're going to go over here. We're going to hit Add Device. Getting ready to add devices. And we're looking for... Let's see. So, oh, geez, right there. Fan control. Right at the top. So click and hold the bottom button for 10 seconds so the LED blinks quickly. So bottom button. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just for sure. Now when I came back to the app, it was already in this. I did nothing. We are in the master bedroom, so that's where the fan controller is. We'll hit next. Adding device. Master bedroom ceiling fan added successfully. I am done adding devices. And finishing setup. And it'll add to the account and integrate in. Looks like I still have my other light switch um, paired to my master bedroom still. So I'm gonna have to take that out too, but that's me, not you. <laughs> so we'll give this a moment. Oh, there it goes. So now we have the ceiling fan. Let's actually pull it open. Let's take a peek at it. If we hit, let's hit high. Oh yeah, she clicks right on. I'm gonna hit right back off because we're gonna test it with uh, voice as well. All right. So if I turn on your uh, voice, your uh, smart assistant during this, I apologize. But we're gonna start with uh, Apple since uh, I'm an uh, Apple user. Hey Siri, set the master bedroom fan to high. Sorry, I wasn't able to find anything like that hmm. in the master bedroom. It's not linked up yet. This time. So here's what I found out real quick. It did add it. I went into my home app, and there it is, the Office Caseta wire. I have no idea why it put it in Office automatically. I couldn't tell you why. But let's hit the, this here. It's actually in the master bedroom. You would think that that would pull that over, correct? And uh, we can actually change the name to just Fan. And... Uh, yeah, that'll be that. So let's see if that works for the second time. Hey Siri, set the master bedroom fan to high. Hmm, I couldn't get a response from your devices this time. Hey Siri, turn on the master bedroom fan. Okay. Okay, so, hey Siri, set the master bedroom fan to 50%. Okay, I set the fan to 50%. And it is on the controller at 50% as well. So it's a little bit different. You can't just say set it to high, although it's actually high. Uh, it's the 0 to 100%. Uh, you can probably do the 1 to 10 as well. So we'll do uh, Amazon's next. All right, so with Amazon stuff, we have to actually do Discover Devices. Alexa, Discover Devices. Starting Discovery. This will take a few moments. So it's not... on your new devices now, and if needed... Put them in pairing mode. All right, so she's doing her thing. We'll give it a minute. We'll come back. All right, so now we're in the app here. I'm going to head over to settings and device settings. And, oh, there it is right there, master bedroom ceiling fan. So it, it did add in. Uh, right now, power off. I want to change the name on this sucker. Connected via that. Okay. Let's edit name. Fan. I just want to call it fan. It's my only fan. So type other, I uh, really can't assign it to a room it looks like. All right. So we'll just, call it, we'll just call it fan for now. I can always change that to be honest. So and that's gonna be down here, it's gonna be an alphabetical order. And either way, there it is. Let's try it by voice. Alexa, set the van, fan to 50%. That value is out of range for device fan. Oh, that's right there, one to 10. Alexa, set the fan to low. Let's see if it's on low. Yes, it is. Okay, so with Amazon's, you have to actually do low, medium, high. You can't do percentages, and you can't do 1 to 10 values. I don't like that, but it also is easier to say, I guess. Alexa, set my fan to high. Alexa, set my fan to medium. So it's technically a 50% on medium. Alexa, set my fan to medium high. 
Okay, so that's how you get to the 75% value is medium high. Interesting, very, very interesting. So, the only thing I didn't do is Google. Um, I'll take a peek at the app real quick. I don't have a Google Assistant in this room, but let's take a peek at the app real quick. All right, so I just opened up the uh, Google Home app, and we can see the various devices and stuff that I have here. And down below, links to you, Master Bedroom for Ceiling Fan. It's already linked to me, so it's attached to the Lutron kit, which is already linked to my Google Home account. So let's head into here, and we'll hit the power. And she turned it on. So Google is going to be the same way. Uh, and to be honest, usually Google operates similar to Siri in that you can do the 50% value, 75% value, things like that. Um, so something to, to at least know by. And then you can always change the name in here as well to whatever you want it to be. So that's Google Home. So there you have it. That is the install on the 4-speed wireless fan controller by Lutron. Um, all in all, went very well, especially the fact that I didn't have a neutral wire and I added it in this whole entire process went a lot smoother than I thought. Now, a couple notes, um, specifically to the neutral wire add-on. I was lucky in that my wires in my wall were not actually attached to the stud on the way up. Uh, if you look at it by an electrician standard, it's pretty poor, to be honest. And knowing that, uh, it doesn't hold a whole lot of regard. But, you know, things were different back in the 70s and before. So, it is what it is. That said, made my life really easy. So, um, as I plan on doing more of these in... Uh, I have to add neutral wire to both my kids' bedrooms as well. It's going to make that a lot easier too. That said, um, the fan controller itself went in very, very well. Um, make sure you uh, plan on wire management because it is a deeper, the, the fan controls in any of the, a lot of the smart home devices, the box, you know, the, the actual device itself is pretty deep. So it takes up a lot of room. So be mindful of how much wire you have behind there. And like I said before, don't just use a drill to hammer home. Make sure that you, if you feel resistance, don't crush it. Um, you can actually damage them. They are electronic, right? Um, I really like the Lutron stuff. It does have a hub, and my hub is downstairs, and I've never had an issue with any of my Lutron stuff. I have my uh, other light switch. I have um, all of my uh, smart shades. They're all fantastic, um, and I have never had an issue with them yet. Knock on wood, right? Um, but that said, guys, uh, I want to say thank you to Lutron for letting me do this video as well. Hopefully, I can do more of their stuff in the near future. But it went smoothly, it went well, and it works fantastic. And now I can control my fan from my bed. And, of course, while I did it, I also made it so I can control my light separately as well. So that's always a benefit. If you're going to pull wires, you might as well do it the way you want it. So... That said, thanks for watching here on Geek Smart. If you have any questions, please post those below. Subscribe, share this video, like it, give it a good thumbs up there if you can. Uh, hit the alert icon if you're interested in finding out when I post more videos. More are always coming. You never know what's going to come next. So thanks for watching. Uh, check over on TechGooch. I will post a review of this product once I have some good hands-on use for a couple of weeks at least. So that link will be in the description below. So. Anything else, head over to techgooch.com. That's where you can get a hold of me through for this channel as well. Uh, TechGooch is the primary. This is kind of a secondary, but I love I love installs. So <laughs> this is kind of the primary almost because I like installs more than I like just showing products. So that said, guys, comment below. Let me know what you think, and we'll see you back here on GeekSmart for a future video install. See you soon.